Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the katana, obtain the gravity cane, and become pro by defeating Indra. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel and it will really help us make better videos. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. To start this video, first we need the gravity cane. So how do you acquire it? Level requirement is level 700 or guys, you can ask Indra if you want. Oh, by the way, shout out to Rip Indra. If you're watching this, can you please lend me a level 1 account with a CDK or Awakened though, please? Okay, anyways guys, back to the question of how to acquire the gravity cane. In the second C, head to the green zone and defeat the boss Fajita or Fujitora. Warning to everyone, defeating him is kinda hard. Check this out guys, just one hit from him. Check the HP, almost dead. <laughs> Actually, it depends on your stats. He has two skills, the Meteor Barrage and the Gravity Push. Wait, the gra oops, we died there. <laughs> the gravity pushes this one. There you go. Anyways, in order to defeat him, this is how you do it, okay? So first, use your Z and X skill. Z and X and dodge, okay? Wait for him to use his skill while your skills are also on cooldown. There you go. After that, Quiet Rush is already in cooldown. Z and X. Make sure to make it fast because if you don't create distance, he will use the gravity push. That is harder to dodge. Again, dash to the side. Z. There you go. Check this out, guys. Dash fast. Because again, he will use the gravity push. Okay? Drop rate is 10%. For the rare sword, it took me 4 times to get the gravity cane. There you go. And finally, we got the gravity cane. So guys, time to grind. Let's equip the sword. Mastery 1. Guys, there we have a problem. I still don't have the instinct, so we need to go back to the first C to get the instinct, okay? So for those who know how to get it, good job. We're gonna make it fast. So first, head to the jungle. Step on the tiles. Get the torch, right? Next up, head to the desert. Next is the house with the red door. There you go, use your torch. Get the cup. Head to frozen village. Fill the cup with dirty water. Give it to the sick man. There you go. Head to the pirate village. Talk to the rich man. Head to this small island. Defeat the mob leader. And go back to the rich man. Okay, so we're gonna defeat this one. There you go. Go back to pirate village. Oh, that's of mastery. And the rich man will give you a relic. Okay, so once he gave you the relic, go back to the jungle. Open this door near the gacha and defeat Shanks. We're going to use the high ground. There you go. To defeat him. We might get hit, but... Our HP is too high for that. We can tank it. Okay, there you go. After that, time to head to the Skylands. Upper yard or upper sky. Guys, make sure that you have money. At least 750,000 bellies. Talk to Usopp or Instinct Teacher. And there you go, guys. We got the Instinct. We're gonna use it. Guys, this will be useful because we don't have a uh, Logia Fruit, right? Anyways, head to the Fountain City. And we're gonna grind galley pirates guys we're gonna start here we're gonna skip lots of mobs we can do wall strat here there you go very easy guys our goal here is to reach level 775 and unlock at least one skill before you go back to the second c the master requirement for the first skill to unlock is 125 and good thing we will unlock it there you go the skill is gravity push remember one of the skills of fajita or fujitora this one so we're gonna use it, there you go, really cool, and they will fall in front of you, okay? So again, continue grinding here until 775, and after that, we're now heading back to the second C. Here are the stats, sword 1575, melee 300, defense 450. Again, middle town, experience captain. So guys, in the second C, our target here is the swan pirates, okay? Guys, we will just focus here until we unlock the X skill, the Meteor Barrage. Guys, I'm gonna show you the damage of the skills at Master 250. There you go, guys. Actually, it's kinda strong to be honest. So, grinding with this fruit is really easy. As you can see, one Z and X skill and some left clicks is enough to burst these mobs. Okay, so 925 is our target here. Here are the stats 
Okay, so guys, now are you ready? Let's head to the green zone and defeat Fajita using his own sword. Now we can get the quest. There you go, Z and X is kill. <laughs> we are going to copy what he's doing. X is kill. Okay, we're gonna use our own. There you go. Damage is 3,000. Not bad. 2,400 for the gravity push. So we're gonna do server hop here, guys, until we reach level 1,000. After that, time to move to the next island, the Snow Mountains. So target here is the Snow Troopers. Guys, check this out. I'm gonna show it to you, okay? 1Z and X skill. Check their HP. Almost dead, right? One more Z skill is enough. There you go. Or some left clicks. So again, grinding here will be fast. Target level is level 1,150. Okay, so guys, so after that, heading towards the next island, the hot and cold. Guys, grinding here is the same. We're only going to defeat one mob, and that's Smoke Admiral. Guys, I'm gonna show you how fast we're gonna defeat this. There you go, Z and X, and just use Wall Strat. Check this out, just use your left clicks. Very easy, right? He will use his skills, he will get damage, but that's fine. We're gonna tank everything. There you go, guys. Easy, right? So again, server up here since it's easy, a lot easier compared to Fajita or Fujitora. So again, our target level here, Zevo 1250. After that, Cursed Ship. Here, our only target is the Ship Deckhands. Why Gamer Nom? Again, check this out. First, Lure. There you go, four of them, and do Wall Strat. <laughs> we keep on doing the Wall Strat, right? <laughs> so after that is your X skill. Z skill and some left clicks. See it, guys? Very easy. No damage from the mobs. There you go. Okay. So keep on grinding here. What is our target level gamer on 1350? Again, we're gonna skip the other mobs. And after that, Ice Castle. So here we're gonna level up 50 times with the Arctic Warriors. Don't worry, our damage is still high. There you go. Z and X skill. Almost dead. But just guys, I'm just showing to you, but make sure to use your instinct, okay? 1Z, XZ skill. There you go. So again, at 1,400, we can now start defeating the Ice Admiral, the Awakened Ice Admiral. So here it is. He is always on his castle at the top of this island. There you go. So guys, how do you defeat him? Don't worry, very easy, even though we don't have a fruit. Again, a wall strat. <laughs> and server hub. Left click. Okay, move back. Left click. Use your skill. There you go. Move back. Wait for him to use his skills. There you go. And then use your own skills. Okay? Actually, guys, we can tank it. I'm just showing you that you can also dodge his skills. So there you go. Oh, we got the library key. So we're gonna open the library. This is the NPC that will sell you the death step. There you go. Anyways, let's continue grinding here until 1,500 because again, the mobs on the Skull Island or Forgotten Island is kind of hard to defeat. After that, make sure to finish the Coliseum quest. Oh, by the way, defeat uh, Swan. Here it is. Make sure to give Trevor a good fruit, like a fruit that costs one, more than 1 million bellies. There you go. And fight Swan. So easy, hard to defeat. By this time, at 1-5, our damage is really high. Also, we can tank his skills. So, very easy. See that? Okay, so he's a weakened form. But still, easy to defeat. Okay, just use left clicks. So guys, after this, are we ready to defeat Indra? There you go. I, I, think, I think we are. So let's head to the Coliseum and free... The soldiers, there you go. Talk to King Redhead and let's fight Indra. So here it is. I think just using left clicks is enough. By the way, Indra is using Dark Blade, right? Anyway, Indra again, shout out to Rip Indra. Please notice me and lend me some accounts. Level 1, uh, Triple Ryoru. Yes, we can grind using that sword. Also, CDK and Awakened Do. Please, 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 if you're watching this, there you go. So after defeating him, I think that's it. Move to Pro using Gravity Cane. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. 
Gamer Nomad, bye-bye!